I should probably preface this with the clear statement that I don't really believe in curses. That said, some films seem to be unluckier than others, and if there are any curse gods out there watching this video, then I'm really sorry for how I opened this and please don't hurt me. What follows is a list of movies ranked not by their quality but by the strength of the curse or bad luck, depending on whatever voodoo you personally believe in, that struck them. You should probably throw some salt over your shoulder before you continue watching. Welcome, Weirdos! I'm Darren Marlar, and this is Weird But True, a video companion to Weird Darkness. Number 11. The Conjuring, 2013 You'll find a lot of horror films claiming to be cursed, and that's got absolutely nothing to do with the fact that it's a great and cheap method of marketing horror films. No, The Conjuring's curse was super serious, guys. It saw the stars occasionally getting their telephone calls cut off while in the middle of talking. And, brace yourselves, director James Wang's dog barked at nothing at one point. Oh, and Vera Farmiga opened her laptop one day and found five claw marks across the computer screen, which is actually pretty spooky if it's not made up. Or she didn't accidentally leave her cat in charge of the online banking that day. These events were so scary that the crew hired an on-set exorcist for the sequel, which, again, definitely had nothing to do with marketing. Number 10. The Passion of the Christ, 2004 Cursed movies are often associated with the devil, but The Passion of the Christ seemed to invoke God's anger, or certainly something that uses one of God's signature moves. That's because Jim Caviezel and assistant director Jan Michelini were struck by lightning during the filming of the Sermon on the Mount. For Michelini, it was actually the second time he had been struck during the production. One person getting hit by lightning is unlucky. Two seems to be a vendetta. Still, at least director Mel Gibson made it off the set without accruing any bad luck. His career was just fine after this film was released. Number 9. Moulin Rouge, 2001 I can understand why God wouldn't want an unpredictable Australian to make a film about his son getting beaten up for 12 hours, but I'm not entirely sure what God might have against the popular musical Moulin Rouge, which might not have suffered lightning strikes but did feature a litany of unlucky events including broken bones, serious falls, and Courtney Love. Number 8. The Wizard of Oz, 1939 Another popular movie with a set plagued by trauma, The Wizard of Oz. The original Tin Man, Buddy Ebsen, who you might remember from the Beverly Hillbillies, had to hang up his metal outfit and quit after getting a lung infection from the makeup. But that's not all. Winged monkey extras fell from their wires, the Wicked Witch caught fire and had to take time off to recover, and even Toto broke one of his paws. That's a lot of nasty events. But that said, I'm not sure if this film was so much cursed as it was really bad at health and safety. By the way, the myth that a munchkin hanged themselves on set and can be seen on camera is total nonsense, in case you were wondering. Number 7. Superman. The Superman curse actually covers more than just film, it also covers television, and it's actually too serious to really joke about it. In fact, in this section of our video, I'm going to stop making gags as from this point on each cursed film really did suffer serious tragedy. George Reeves heartbreakingly committed suicide in 1959 after playing the iconic character on the hugely popular TV series The Adventures of Superman. Conspiracy theorists note 
that his fingerprints were not found on the gun and suggest the actor was actually murdered, but whatever the cause of death, it took Reeves too soon. As for the films, Christopher Reeve had retired from the Superman role when he was thrown from his horse and paralyzed from the neck down. He also died too soon at the age of 52. Mean-spirited theorists point to the careers of Dean Cain, Brandon Routh, and Tom Welling as further evidence of a curse. Number 6. Rebel Without a Cause – 1955 Rebel Without a Cause is a legendary film that will be remembered forever. Sadly, three of its leads were not able to see its reputation grow as they were all taken before their time. James Dean died in a car accident shortly after completing filming at only the age of 24. Sal Mineo was killed by a mugger outside his house in 1976, age 37. Natalie Wood drowned in 1981, age 43, in an event that was initially deemed an accident, but has subsequently been recategorized by police as potentially suspicious. Number 5. Atuk As heartbreaking as the events surrounding Rebel Without a Cause were, at least the film was completed before the terrible luck struck. Atuk, a comedy about an Eskimo emigrating to New York, remains forever unmade, partly because of the tragedy surrounding its casting. John Belushi died of a drug overdose shortly after reading the script. Comedian Sam Kinison was cast next dying in a car crash before filming could begin. Next, John Candy took the role and then died of a heart attack. Chris Farley opened talks to play the lead and died from a drug overdose in sadly similar circumstances to his hero, Belushi. Production was halted and the film will likely never be completed. Number 4. Rosemary's Baby, 1968 the plot of Rosemary's Baby spoilers here, sees an actor selling his soul to the devil in exchange for fame and fortune, sacrificing his beautiful wife as part of the bargain. It was director Roman Polanski's breakthrough film, bringing him major success and widespread acclaim. The film was released in 1968, and in the same year, Polanski married model-turned-actress Sharon Tate. Just a year later, Sharon Tate died at the hands of Charles Manson's family, who broke into their home saying, I'm the devil and I'm here to do the devil's business. That horrific event, alongside the early death of Rosemary's Baby composer Christoph Komeda months after the film was released, he died at the age of 38, and the satanic connection obviously have led many conspiracy theorists to label Rosemary's Baby a cursed film. Number 3. The Exorcist, 1973 Not only was shooting delayed by a set fire which left Reagan's bedroom unharmed, Ellen Burstyn and Linda Blair both seriously hurt their backs during filming, and there are multiple deaths associated with The Exorcist curse. Actors Jack McGowan and Vasiliki Malarios died while the film was in post-production. Both played characters who died in the movie. In 1987, actress Mercedes McCambridge, who was the voice of the demon Pazuzu, suffered bleak tragedy when her son murdered his wife and children before taking his own life. Number 2. Poltergeist, 1982 Over a six-year period following the creation of the Poltergeist franchise, three crew members died in tragic circumstances. In 1982, actress Dominique Dunn, she played the Freeling's oldest daughter Dana, was strangled by her ex-boyfriend. She was 22. Will Sampson, who played medicine man Taylor, died in 1987 from complications following surgery. One year later, Heather O'Rourke, who played young Carol Ann, the main character of all three installments, suffered cardiac arrest and died. She was only 12 years old. The Omen, 1976 Topping our list of cursed movies is The Omen, 
because even if the stories surrounding this film are only coincidences, they are still very disturbing. Not one, but three planes carrying cast or crew suffered extreme weather. Gregory Peck and screenwriter David Seltzer took two separate planes to the UK, and both were struck by lightning. Executive producer Mace Neufeld's plane from Rome was also forced to fly through a lightning storm. Later, Gregory Peck's plane to Israel crashed, killing everyone on board. Peck, however, had canceled his ticket only moments before. Director Richard Donner's hotel was bombed by the IRA. Special effects artist John Richardson was involved in a car crash that killed his girlfriend. All hugely tragic events which, when tied to the movie's plot about the Antichrist killing off his enemies, have added an air of creepiness. Please subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss future videos, including my daily podcast, Weird Darkness. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can find more creepy stories at WeirdDarkness.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, weirdos.